Okay, well, welcome to Let's Talk Tech. I'm Thomas. I'm Alan. And, uh, Hi. yeah, hello. And this is our first, very first episode ever made of Let's Talk Tech, the only show in Wallingford ho uh, hosted by the WPA Cable 18 that will bring you your technology news. Yeah, that was like Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So our first segment for today is we're going to be talking about the new Google Chrome OS that is not out yet, and there's no previews for it, but it's talked about, and Google says it's coming out. And it will so, be coming out uh, yeah. middle of 2010. Yeah, middle of 2010. Middle of 2010. They have no it will be, set date for it. Yes, it'll be coming out. And uh, they say it's a very interesting operating system. It's based on people who just go on the Internet, who just log on, just go on to uh, uh, Firefox or Google Chrome the web browser. Yeah, but that's what most people, uh, see that's the thing, most people only use the web, but if people only use the web, how uh, there's other people also like to do other things, like there's people that like to install programs, like games and, you know, uh, I don't know, Microsoft yeah, I don't, Word, Office. I don't know why you wouldn't want to install anything. I don't know why you just want to jump right to the internet. Yeah, I, I know. It's, that's what I don't get. Yeah, but maybe it'll, it'll it might install be games. Kick. Um, but then there's the whole issue of the EXE files, which you well, can't you can't upload anyway. You can't. Yeah, if you can't upload an EXE file, you can't upload just it. Just like Linux, so you can't. Yeah, yeah. that's why it's based on the. Uh, well, it's based Google on Chrome Kennel is Linux. based on Kennel Linux, and uh, that's probably why they're doing the whole thing with internet only. But Linux also gives you a whole bunch of programs, what well, usually with the Linux operating system. So this is going to be an interesting operating system to come out. What else do you have to say about this? Uh, I, I don't. I don't really know. I mean, it's, it's a definitely an interesting operating system, but well, the um, when I was doing my research, uh, the what did they put out? The uh, Android, Android operating system. Uh, Google put out an Android operating system in for cell phones, and it was only had again the internet, but it had, was using Firefox. So what this one's using is not. But this was before the Google Chrome uh, Windows web, browser web, came web out. Web browser. Yeah, web browser came out. So um, now that the web browser's out, they will probably be using the uh, Google Chrome web the browser. Web browser. But they may also be using other web browsers such as Firefox and what else is there? Uh, Acer. Acer and yeah, there's a whole bunch of them out there. They could be using any number of uh, web browsers. Yeah. What else? That's it. Yeah. Are you sure? I I, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um, so basically, the the basically Google Chrome is basically primitive. It's going to be very primitive from what we hear. And well, this is what we've read on the blog, the official blog of Google of the Google Chrome OS. So maybe it might head off. But again, I don't urge anyone to go out and buy the product right away because, as you know, any product you just the first time it goes out in the market, it's got bugs. Yeah, just like I, uh, yeah, just like the iPhone. The iPhone the came iPhone, out first time. Anything, it had bugs. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Windows. Windows had bugs. Yeah, yeah. DOS yeah. three one. Horrible. Yeah, yeah. The, it's always going to have bugs, and it can always be increased. So see what happens, and then look into it. Look into it before you just go out and jump buying it. Or even try like if they come out with like a demo version, even try those. Yeah, the, yeah. The demo version probably would be better. I wish they would. Actually, I wish they would. Hmm. If they came out with the demo version, I definitely put it on my computer see what it was like. Okay, we'd be going, we're going to commercial now? Yeah, sure. Okay, we're going to commercial right now. And we'll, when we come back, we'll be talking about uh, comparing video games. Video game cancels. Yeah, video game cancels. And we're off. 80, 30, 50. Every mile brings us closer. 25. Every mile in a city near you. 75. Help us find a cure for diabetes. 100. Join the Tour de Cure. 60. Register to ride. 36. Or sponsor a rider. 50. Call 1-888-DIABETES or visit us online at diabetes.org forward slash tour. How many miles will you ride? 25.
What have you done for your marriage today? Today, I uh, used the towel that was already damp after my shower so that he would have the dry one. I called my wife on the phone and I told her, Sue, I love you, and I meant it. I went from the lobby of my hotel back to our hotel room five times to pick up the video camera. I took time out at lunch to make sure that we had an opportunity to, to spend time together. Then to go back and pick up the battery. What have I done for my marriage today? Today? What do we do? It's what did you do? What did I do? I shopped. Then to go back and pick up our handbag. What have I done for my marriage today? I flirted with my husband like when we first got married. I made the bed for my wife because she usually does, and I even put the pillows in the right place. Then to go back and look for something she'd forgotten that wasn't in the room either, and I did it with a smile. What have you done for your marriage today? Try something new to make yours great. For ideas, go to foryourmarriage.org. A message from the Catholic Church. They say America is the land of opportunity. Where kids can grow up to be anything they want. But for a lot of us, it's not so easy. Because right now, one out of every six children in America lives without enough. That's nearly 13 million of us living in poverty. When you live below the poverty line, every day is a struggle just to hang on. This is America. Together we can do so much. Will you help? Go to povertyusa.org today and get involved. And we're back to Let's Talk Tech. Welcome back. Yes. Uh, today, our next segment is going to be talking about uh, video game consoles, which one's the best, the Wii, the Xbox 360, or the PS3. Uh, everybody asks it when they're going to go buy consoles. And, uh, yeah, it's a very common question. What very you common. A Yahoo, a Yahoo answers constantly. Yeah. Anna. Okay, so, uh, in my opinion... The 360 is the best. And yeah, I agree. But yes. the whole thing about it is, is uh, which one is the best total? The Wii, it has, uh, it has like you know the whole, the whole joystick thing. Yeah, but you, but you can't have that for every game. Yeah. You can't say, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go chase someone. You can't chase someone with a remote control. How's that gonna go? It really, it really go. It really gets boring very yeah. easily, and it. It hurts yourself. You can hurt yourself. <laughs> I, I've done it. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> it, it it gets really boring really easily, and yeah, it, it's fun at first, but then it really does get boring. But then with the 360, you get hours and hours of just gameplay, and there's a lot of games that came out for the 360. Yeah. And with the Wii, not so many. A few, but not so many. Like maybe hundred. But, like, for the 360, a good a lot has come out. But, Tom, the 360, you have to also the, um, think of the time that it came out. The, three, the, the Wii came out way after the 360 did. So the 360 has also had more time to develop with games. Yeah. Yeah. But... But Tom's main point is is that one gets boring, one gets fun, one you have more action games, one you don't. Would you rather, it, it's basically up to you. Would you rather shoot something with holding a remote control like that, or would you rather be playing a game with joystick? Yeah, it's pretty much what it comes down to. And then, then there's the whole idea, if you want to play with a joystick, then it's the whole, the P, PS3 or the 360. And then, that's a, <sighs> wow. So the 360 uh, has a lot of errors. Everybody knows yeah. that, where it comes up with the uh, red rings, the three red rings, and red it just stops and death, working. R R D. Yeah, R R. Uh, yeah, O D. Or, Anyone yeah. who has a 360 knows that. Yes. yes, and then there's a whole where if you turn your Xbox console from standing to laying down, you'll this scratch. Side. Yeah, you're, you'll scratch your disc like completely. Yes, we have you'll tried. Have to, we've done this. We've tried to repair it. So yes, we have looked into it, and we try to help 
you figure it out, but uh, we can't even figure it out. So uh, the, the scratches yeah. are very, very deep in there. There's nothing really that can remove that. I mean, we've tried all the YouTube tricks, and it, it just doesn't work. Yeah, those were some good tricks. Yes, good times. I, I don't, I don't see how peanut butter takes off. Yeah, there's a there's <laughs> peanut butter eggs. Well, that eggs one was kind of a prank, but toothpaste. Toothpaste. Yes, there's yeah. there's, there's some there's funny, some funny ones. ones on there. We've tried them all. It doesn't work. Doesn't Most work. of them. Some of them kind of, toothpaste kind of, but not really. Yeah, we've even brought them to people that do really good jobs on cleaning discs, and they can't get it out. They clean the disc, they remove some of the scratches, but they can't get the rings off. Mm. So that's the 360. That's the errors. Yeah, that's the 360 errors. And but then, that's also Microsoft. Microsoft's yeah, Microsoft. Microsoft. error itself. Yeah, so then there's the PS3. The PS3 is made by Sony and has a lot less errors, and... Uh, it's a, a lot of good gameplay. I mean, the graphics are good. It, it, it doesn't overheat very easily. Dude, the graphics are, like, insane. Like the graphics are very good. And there's live gameplay. And it's not the console itself is more expensive, but it's cheaper for the accessories. And then there's free live. So. Yeah. Would you rather have the free live, or would you rather be paying so much a month for Xbox it's five dollars. It's $5 a month per for the 360. And then the with the 360, the accessories are much, much more. Like you now, can buy the headset. But, but you, yeah, but you have to think to yourself. It might be only $5, but people that are really into gaming, they probably have all their other online accounts. RuneScape costs $5 a month as well, so that adds up to $10 a month with the 360. Yeah, and not to mention WoW, which is like 25 a month. It's 15 15 so that's and that's like what? <laughs> that's a lot of money. It does it does add up, and it's five dollars. That would make it uh, sixty dollars a year. Yeah. So you'd be saving yourself sixty dollars a year if you use the uh, the PS3. So yes, people say the PS3 is better, but then again, the Xbox 360 has better gameplay. It has much better gameplay, like a lot better, where you can just like it. It's so real, like um, COD 4. Very, yeah. <laughs> it has the best live ever. I mean, you're running to, in. Yeah. Looks, it's it's an amazing game, and I don't think PS3 can compare to that. Like, not even close. So, I'd have to say that the PS3 is a better console. Yeah. Now, also, you have to think to yourself, if you, if you were thinking of buying maybe the Wii. Now, the, again, the Wii. Like I said before, the Wii has the remote where like it's the whole handheld thing. And then you have your two game consoles that have joysticks. Uh, controllers. Yeah, controllers. But then you you know, you think to yourself, well, we is more meant for exercise. What that's actually the the creators of the Wii, it was meant for exercise. They somebody probably it was probably some sort of parents idea that said, you know, some my son or daughter my child is not getting exercise. All they do is play video games, and they want to yeah. create a way for that. So it's all it's very good for exercise. Not even it's yeah. not even that good for exercise, but well, it's better. It's than better than a, it's controllers. Better than controllers, you know. Then they came up with something called the Wii Fit, which definitely is. And that's actually better better for exercise than anything. Yeah, else. it's very good. It's made for exercising. So, so that's. But uh, it comes down to the whole 360 PS3, and then even in that. I would say get the 360, but it really comes down yeah. to if there's a uh, the 360 have a lot of, a lot of errors has it a ton of errors, mm -hmm. but the PS3 has much 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 less errors, but it's just not as fun. So so there's pros and cons so to any one of them. If you want pick your pick. If you want good gameplay and less errors and cheaper a little cheaper cost for the accessories, but more for the console, get the PS3. And if you want a cheaper console. More expensive for the accessories, and uh, better gameplay, better than the. You PS3. know, there's actually I actually went online when I was doing when I was doing research about this. I went online. You can go to Google and just like type in um, what was it? You could type in just and ask. Uh, you can just type in the Google and ask for. Um, what kind of game console should I get? Or take a quiz to ask what kind of game console I should get. Yes, and of course it's internet based, and it's not your opinion. You can try them yeah. out and yeah, you see can, what you like. yeah, try them out and you can go to like well, Best yeah, Buy go, even Best and, Buy, Walmart. Yeah, they have them up. You could try them out and say, okay, well, you know, I like this, but I don't like this. Go to a friend's house. It's even better. And say, okay, I want to play your game. Can I play this game? Can I play this game? 
it's because it's good for the game trying out the game console and trying out the um game as well Okay, we are going to go commercial. Uh, go to our commercials. Another commercial. Another commercial. And we'll and be back with our next segment, uh, Windows Seven. Eighty. Thirty. Fifty. Every mile brings us closer. Twenty-five. Every mile in a city near you. Seventy-five. Help us find a cure for diabetes. A hundred. Join the Tour de Cure. Sixty. Register to ride. 36. Or sponsor a rider. 50. Call 1-888-DIABETES or visit us online at diabetes.org forward slash tour. How many miles will you ride? 25. What have you done for your marriage today? Today, I uh, used the towel that was already damp after my shower so that he would have the dry one. I called my wife on the phone and I told her, Sue, I love you, and I meant it. I went from the lobby of my hotel back to our hotel room five times to pick up the video camera. I took time out at lunch to make sure that we had an opportunity to, to spend time together. Then to go back and pick up the battery. What have I done for my marriage today? Today? What do we do? It's what did you do? What did I do? I shopped. Then to go back and pick up a handbag. What have I done for my marriage today? I flirted with my husband like when we first got married. I made the bed for my wife because she usually does, and I even put the pillows in the right place. Then to go back and look for something she'd forgotten that wasn't in the room either, and I did it with a smile. What have you done for your marriage today? Try something new to make yours great. For ideas, go to foryourmarriage.org. A message from the Catholic Church. They say America is the land of opportunity. Where kids can grow up to be anything they want. But for a lot of us, it's not so easy. Because right now, one out of every six children in America lives without enough. That's nearly 13 million of us living in poverty. When you live below the poverty line, every day is a struggle just to hang on. This is America. Together we can do so much. Will you help? Go to povertyusa.org today and get involved. Hello, welcome back. To our show, show. Let's Talk Tech. Yep. Uh, this segment we're going to be talking about Windows 7. We're talking about more how it's progressed from Windows Vista to Windows 7 and Windows well, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7. Um, most people uh, thought Windows XP was a pretty good operating system. It wasn't it, bad. It, it was. Yeah. It was a little bit, a little bit confusing for me to first learn it, uh, but. I, you know, for most people to yeah. just learn. It was a little, it was a, little it, it was a, it was a difference, yeah. but it was, it was yeah, definitely, it was, it was worth it. I mean, it was, yeah. it's a good operating system. But then Windows Vista came out and Windows Vista was a whole new story. I actually think Windows Vista was more confusing to me than anything else. And I don't, uh, you can't exactly know why, but I, I use it and I'm just a little bit confused on how it works. It, it, it really was a terrible operating system. They, yeah, they, the, security they, was, the security was worse than The security was horrible. Yeah. The security was terrible. And then they made everything more confusing than they had to. They, yeah. To make, to like convert stuff, it, it yeah, was just horrible. No, yeah, it was pretty It was bad. just horrible. They added programs which were useful and those programs dragged on to Windows 7, which is what we're talking about. Now, Windows 7 is a is an, like we said a Windows se Windows 7 operating system and yeah Windows 7 operating system made by Windows Microsoft Windows 
but it is much better than Vista, and it is available for a trial version on, I don't know, go to Google, search Windows RC7, and you can download it for free, and it lasts till like March, and then your computer starts getting kind of screwy. Yeah, it'll actually start deleting files. Yeah. It won't let it's a trial stuff. version, so. so it's just, you know. It slowly goes. Yeah. Slowly kicks the bucket. But slowly goes where no yeah. man has gone before. Yeah. What? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the whole thing was, with, even with the control panel, how it changed. I really didn't like that feature where it changed 2000, how everything was, it was all spread out where you could just go into the control panel, it's all there. Windows XP, you could choose the new version or the old version. Of course, I like the new version. Yeah. No, and the then, old version, you mean. Uh, the old version. The new version where it put it all into folders, it just made it so much more confusing. Yeah, we where didn't know where anything was. We're so used to yeah, it, old stuff. Not yeah. everybody was because that's what they used. And then they'd go in and they couldn't find anything. They just made it more confusing. And then with Vista, they stopped the feature completely, switching to the old version. They made it just the new version. Yeah, I don't like that. And then same thing with Windows yeah. 7. It's, yeah, it's, they, they, it, things are much more, like, as far as folders go, uh, Windows Vista had stuff a little more organized, and in Windows 7, it's even more organized, and I do like that. I do like the organization. One thing about the folders I like is the download folder. Now yeah, when you download, download folder, from, it yeah. doesn't matter what web browser, you can download it from Firefox, you can download it Internet from Explorer. Internet Explorer. Uh, it doesn't matter, it just dumps all into yeah, one folder called Downloads. There's a folder called Downloads, and it, dump, and it goes into the Download folder, which I like, because before, Everything when you had it set up a ri when you had the default set up for uh, like Firefox or Internet Explorer, it just download to your desktop, and it's like oh, I'll go to your desktop. Then I had to create a folder on my desktop called Downloads, and I'd have to drag it in there. And it's like I don't want to do. It. I just want it to go to the folder automatically, and then I had to configure it and everything. This one does it automatically for you, and it's much nicer. Also, the whole like I was talking about the organization. If you work with uh, a Linux based program operating system, you know how the organization of the folders is. It's the same, almost like the same exact configuration. Yeah, you can you can go into my documents or something yeah, and it has everything to the side, actually, everything to the left. Actually, you go into a thing called libraries. Before you go into your documents and in your documents folder it would have my documents, my pictures, my videos. No, now you go into something called my library or just libraries. Yeah. And it and that has your my pictures and that, so this has way you don't have to right go into your documents folder. Yeah. So it has it all individual, which is nice. So um, that's that, I, I definitely like that feature a lot because now I know now Linux is and Windows are starting to get a little more similar. Um, but also what what else is there? The uh, it's and... it's definitely much more like Linux, where it's more open source, where you can actually change the bars. Yeah, true. You can chart. You can change the top bar of your screen before you had to buy, or even get a trial version of a program to do it for you for XP and Vista, and for 2000 you couldn't do it. So with Windows XP, uh, Windows uh, 7, you can actually go to the top at the bar at the top and change the color of it and change your the texture and whatever, and at the bottom. Your taskbar, you can actually do the same thing. You yeah. can have it like it's a different at, color. There, uh, in Windows XP, there's a like you're saying, there's a blue bar, the very top of the screen, and at the very the start menu right there. Okay, and usually it was gray. It was gray in Windows 2000. XP it was blue or green. In you the can Vista, change it's green. You can change it in the themes. Yeah, but um, but uh, that was that's what it was a default setting. But now you could change color and you could change the transparency of it. You could do some cool things with it. Yeah, and that's very useful. Now, oh, it's not useful, but it looks cool. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, another thing is in your start menu, similar to Windows Vista, when you go into your start menu, there's no longer the thing in Windows uh, XP or 2000 or where... Or Vista. What? Or Vista. No, Vista has it. Mm. Where you click, on, you click on the folder and it drops down instead of you just going into a folder over there. So that's kind of... I really don't like that that much. It's I guess it's okay, but that's a that's a I guess an interesting feature if, or a useful feature if you want to if you do something like that. Um, and, and a lot new, a lot more programs is going to be coming out for this. I mean, oh, yeah. like we said, this is just a trial version of it, and it's not not even anything close to what we will know when the actual version comes up. Yeah, when the, yeah, the trial version and the actual version. I have, the trial version is actually Windows Vista Ultimate, but it is also, um, 
but it's all since it's a trial, it doesn't have everything to it. Doesn't have all the programs. Yeah, it doesn't have all the programs, all the security features. All the settings. Yeah, so there's probably going to be either a little bit more security or a little bit more settings. They might tweak stuff a little bit. They've been getting um, opinions from other people. How do they tweak stuff? And it's, it's coming out. When's it coming out? October? October. October? 22nd. Yeah, it's coming out October 22nd, 2009. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah. And um, uh, it's the, supposed to be like $200 for oh, it. Oh, yeah. We actually at, looked at, out into it. Yeah. It's at the first, when yeah. the first it comes out, it's, about, it's supposed yeah, to be $200. It's the, I think it was the home edition was 200 Yeah. Yeah, it's, pre it's pretty bad priced, but, you know. Um, what is annoying about the Windows 7 operating system is that similar to Linux programs, when you download something or try and make a mess up with the setting, it will come up with a, like a pop-up thing and will say, are you sure you want to do this? It does the same thing in Windows. It's going to say... It literally locks your screen. Yeah, you can't it will do lock anything your unless screen. Unless you hit no. run or deny. No, unless you press start menu. Then it goes yeah. back. Okay. Um, uh, but yeah, it's going to lock your screen up and it's going to say, do you, are you sure you want to me uh, let this program mess with your computer? That's usually only if you install it or if you are running a program that is going to be like changing your computer settings. So that's kind of annoying because you have to say yes to that or no to that. And if you have a really slow computer, it's going to take a while for that to come up and you're not going to know what's happening. So yeah, your, your, computer is going, your computer screen is going to like blink and it's going to dim and then it's going to come up with an option. Do you want to let this mess with your computer? Well, so that is kind of annoying. Well, of course, uh, the newer the operating system gets, the more RAM it's going to take. I mean, yeah. that's kind of obvious. I mean, Windows XP needs less RAM, 512 megabytes or so. Uh, Windows Vista well, Windows needs, Vista needs, needs like a, gig. a 1 gigahertz processor. And uh, I believe it was at least like 250, it was 256. RAM? Yeah, at least, minimum. Uh, you should run about a gig to run, run Vista. I don't know, I'm running 512. Yeah, so maybe it's, yeah, maybe it's a minimum of 512. Yeah, but with Windows 7, it's a minimum of 5.12. Yeah. And, uh, the, and the security settings actually are much better on uh, Windows 7 than Vista. They're definitely much better. And when you go in and something tries to like almost like destroy your computer like a virus, yeah. it'll actually like reset your whole settings and it'll well, come up yeah, and say resetting Windows. Yeah, similar to that, something similar to that is that if your computer shuts down or if a program can't start, it is going to tell you, it's going to give you an error, and it's going to be like, oh, well, you know. Um, it's going to give you an error and everything, and it's going to say, well, Windows has a problem. It's going to try and reconfigure the problem. And it's probably going to give you, it's probably going to give you an error, and it's going to say, well, we can't figure it out what it is, but they're going to try and figure it out for you if they can. If Windows can try and figure it out for you, the operating system will reconfigure itself and try and say, oh, well, that's what's wrong with the program. It restarted because you restarted it automatically. So, and it's very useful about that. Okay, well that... Would you like to introduce what we're doing next week? Yeah, that wraps up our show. And next week, we're going to have Unreal Tournament. Unreal our, Tournament? Our, and then... Our, our, we've only, we just got the video game yesterday, and it's one of our video games. We played it for 13 hours last night. It was, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's a pretty good game. And then uh, the, the week after that, we're going to be... No, no, no. Also. Al also, we're going to be showing you. Yeah, we're also going to be talking about the Windows operating system, comparing... Fedora, Mandrivia, and Ubuntu all together figuring which out are which Linux. one's better. Um, yeah. So that's our show for tonight. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Yeah. And we'll see you next week.